Earlier this season, Jurgen Klopp was asked which of his current players he's been most surprised by since he arrived at the club. His answer? Trent Alexander-Arnold. The Liverpool boss made reference to his physical capacity, but it's reasonable to suggest that his offensive output on the pitch is part of that too. With the current campaign on pause, now is as good a time as any to reflect on what Alexander-Arnold was, what he is right now and what he might become in the future. The attacking contribution that Alexander-Arnold is presently renowned for wasn't particularly demonstrated three years ago. When he stepped into the first team, he performed a relatively functional role. Alexander-Arnold made seven league appearances in 2016-17, with three of those being one-minute cameos against Middlesbrough, Tottenham and Arsenal. His full debut was given to him at Old Trafford, with his passing network pictured here. It's more daring than many would expect from a teenager making his full senior debut away at Manchester United, but it still doesn't offer much of an insight into his current role. Alexander-Arnold's present offensive contribution from fullback is mostly unrivaled, as captured here. The scatter plot includes every player from Europe's top five leagues, who's amassed over 1,500 minutes at fullback this season. Their attacking performances have been judged based on shots assisted per 90 minutes, which highlights quantity, and open play expected assists per 90 minutes, which covers quality. Evidently, Alexander-Arnold is demonstrating both quality and quantity in chance creation. He's outperforming every single one of his peers to such an extent that some people want him to move into midfield. His passing network from a fixture earlier this season against Tottenham is pictured here, and it's evolved significantly from his debut. The England defender has redefined the concept of a fullback, so what about the future? The answer ultimately depends on the tactical development of Liverpool as a team. If Klopp wants to retain that industrious midfield, then Alexander-Arnold is unlikely to move. But if the Reds are to adapt, perhaps Alexander-Arnold could perform in a similar manner to Manchester City's Kevin De Bruyne as an advanced number eight. How Liverpool develop tactically and how good Alexander-Arnold will become are the two unknowns that will determine whether he masters the art of defending despite being a fullback or whether he matures into a more central presence.